Hey guys, so I was sharing in one of my vlogs that I wanted to start doing some cooking vlogs once we're in our house. Um, and I wanted to really do a vlog channel and a fitness and do fitness and vlog style. It would be a vlog channel, but do fitness and cooking vlogs on that channel. And then, you know, just random fun vlogs when we're out doing things. So I want to know your opinion on that. But today I am doing, it's kind of a brunch thing and I'm making some cinnamon roll French toast. It's super, super easy. You need very few ingredients. So I'm going to get all of those ready and we're going to kind of cook together. So I hope you guys enjoy this and we'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so we're going to get started. Okay, so you want two of the longer rolls of this, you know, this grand cinnamon rolls. Um, this is just an example. I had this as extra. There's only five big cinnamon rolls in here. And on the longer ones, you actually get eight. And they're about this size. So you want that. You need some type of syrup. You need vanilla, cinnamon, eggs, a bowl to kind of mix everything together and then save your icing from your um, cinnamon rolls. So let's get started. Okay, so first what I did was I just cut it in half, then take it this way. Because these are gonna puff up. So also one thing, a lot of my stuff is packed up, so I love to use these um, temporary. And you also want some non-stick butter spray. So we are going to just spray this. You don't want anything sticking. There we go. I'm gonna move this right here. I don't wanna put it on the stove because it is hot. Okay, and then just start putting your pieces in here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add one more and I'm gonna just send leftovers with Jason to work. <clears throat> I hate opening these. bowl and you need eggs so these are pasture raised um, they're all organic and they're local so the only thing is they are a little expensive but they're definitely worth So, we are going to start, I was going to use these, Jason, but I'm not going to anymore. I'm going to use the good ones. I like to put two paper towels down, and just put them there when I'm I'm going to use this. Put away my eggs. There we go. OK, 
Okay, next up, guys, you want milk. And I only use whole milk, so you want a cup of milk. And here's a cup. So I'm going to do about that much milk. And I'm going to add a little half and half to make it fluffy. So shake it up. You want your cinnamon and you want two teaspoons and I'm just going to be kind of eyeballing it so it doesn't have to be precise just eyeball it basically And now you want vanilla. There we go. And you want about two. Smells oh so good. Okay guys. Now for the fun part. Okay, here we go guys. So now you're gonna take your mixture and you're just going to Okay guys, now we're gonna take one cup of your favorite syrup. I'm gonna be using Miss Butterworth because that's our favorite. And this is probably about a cup, so. And now what you're gonna do is, hey. <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna put this in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. And then we'll continue on after that. You're gonna let that bake, and I'm definitely a clean as you go person. I like to clean, sanitize, wash my hands. I can't stand them sticky. <laughs> so I already bleached my counter, sanitized everything, and now I have the three things of icing waiting with a spoon, and we'll see it when it comes out of the oven. See you guys in 25 minutes. Okay, guys, it's time. Get your oven mitts. Here you go. Look at that. Okay, so we are going to set it down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the icing. So let's start doing that. So here we have it. I forgot to put these on the oven to kind of warm them up a little bit. So they're just a little easier to kind of drizzle. Let's move this a little closer. Oh.
Okay, so there we are, we're finished. I would love extra icing on mine. So the syrup does get a little fluid at the bottom. You, what I usually do, it just depends on what syrup you're using. I pull it out and I drain just a little bit of it and then I put it back in the oven for, you know, probably three to four minutes. And then pull it back out, put your icing on it, and then I'll let it set probably 15 minutes so it just absorbs that syrup. And you're good to enjoy and yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this, my first cooking vlog. I'm excited about our second channel that we're gonna be doing with cooking vlogs, fun vlogs, and fitness vlogs. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and help me come up with a name for my vlog channel. I would absolutely love that and appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for some clips of when we cut it open. Love you guys.